Hey everyone, Mario here. Hey, uh, we're gonna do a quick review on uh, Spectre Gear uh, tactical holster. Uh, through my military career, I've had quite a few tactical holsters, guys. And I, I must tell you, I really like this one. Uh, I like it because of the sheer simplicity that it has. It doesn't have too many bells and whistles, and uh, it could definitely do the job for you guys. Um, one thing I do like about this uh, uh, about this tactical holster. It's the fact that it's so versatile. Uh, you can adjust it in so many ways that it, it could definitely suit your needs. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the actual um, uh, configuration of it. Uh, this uh, this holster, they, they, they make different types of holsters for different types of uh, weapon systems. Uh, for example, they make one for a uh, 1911. Uh, A1 series, uh, they make one for the Beretta 9, 92F, and 96, uh, Glock uh, 17, 22, and 31, Glock 20 and 21, uh, SIG P226 and P220, which is the one that you see here, um, XD9, XD40, XD45, the foreign service model. Uh, uh, Smith & Wesson MP9 and MP40, Smith & Wesson M MP45, uh, H&K USP9 and USP40, H&K USP45, Ruger 89 and 90, SR, uh, Ruger SR9 and SR40, uh, Smith & Wesson 4506, Smith & Wesson SW9 and SW40, uh, Smith & Wesson SW99, and last but not least, uh, P35 High Power. Um, as you guys can see, these actually, uh, they, they do have quite a few for the most common um, uh, holsters out there. Uh, but they do make a lot of holsters that, uh, many of these holsters would definitely fit your uh, your uh, your type of uh, weapon system you may have um, for example um, sometimes these uh, I, I have another one that I got that actually it was made for Beretta 92 and I got it through uh, one of the, um, uh, the uh, this uh, this company Spectre Gear sponsors our, our, our uh, company and they were, they were doing some raffling and I want one of these uh, which is pretty cool I really like it and it's uh, something that I really endorse. I've used it in the past, so it's not an issue, guys. I'm, I'm not going to give you guys anything that's not worth uh, mentioning. Uh, so the colors that comes with this is uh, black, olive drab, coyote tan, foliage green, the Army ACU camo. And I apologize for not having that here with me, but I have it with my military gear. Uh, that goes with me wherever I go, so that's just part of my, my stuff that I keep. And... I have it in another storage place. Actually, it's in it's in uh, it's at work, so I wasn't able to bring it with me. Uh, they also have the multicam, which you guys see here, and they also make the uh, uh, the U.S. Air Force the ABU camo. Okay, guys. So uh, what's really great about this uh, holster is that it's it's self-adjustable, and you guys can use it for many configurations, whether you're left-handed or right-handed. That's that's always the, the cool thing about these type of holsters. Uh, so we're going to talk about the uh, sheer flexibility. I really like a lot of these buckles. They're easy to, uh, to, uh, to open and close. Um, and uh, like I tell you, I really like the fact that um, it's obvi obviously made in the USA, which is always cool. Um, has uh, this uh, Velcro loop here. And what it does, you can adjust it. As you guys see, this is all Velcro here. And you guys can adjust it to whatever configuration you want. Some people like this belt buckle. I, for one, don't like this. I have a tendency of taking this off. And with this one, you can do that. You can take this buckle off, unzip it, and then bring it up to the length of your, of your belt, which is always cool. I like my thigh holster belts, uh, you know, riding a little higher on me. Uh, but you know, everybody has their preference on what they like to do. Um, also, another thing that I like about this is that you can adjust it. Uh, you can adjust um, these. Uh, these. Uh, you can adjust these here. The uh, the thigh holster uh, straps that go around you, the go around your legs. These are always cool. 
You can adjust them whether you just want one or two. Some people like both two of these, which is my personal favorite, but there's a lot of people, especially those that are, you know, uh, that are, uh, you know, taller or people that just have bigger legs or thighs, they have a tendency of wanting this to be uh, a little closer to them and sometimes all they need is one. So you can adjust this to just having one thigh holster, uh, one of these uh, 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 around the leg uh, straps here. So you can adjust it to one or two and uh, you can adjust it to either the, the top, there's a middle portion and there's a bottom portion. So it's pretty cool. I really like this. Um, other things that I like about this is that even though it's uh, this one is for a SIG, you know, I could, I could pretty much uh, mold it to whatever type of weapon system I have. This is what's cool about it because, you know, the, there's no uh, defined shape for the actual pistol. Like you do in other holsters, uh, with a thigh holster, you could definitely uh, refine it to your, uh, to your type of weapon. And also, especially if you happen to have like a beaver tail on your, on your, uh, on your weapon, uh, you can adjust the height on this, which is always cool. Um, other features that I like about it, obviously, it gives you a little pocket so you can put your extra magazine in here. It's always handy. It's always cool, especially when you go out to the range or do anything uh, that's, uh, you know, that you guys like to do tactically. Uh, you know, this is actually another really good thing for, that, for those that really do airsoft. I know there's a lot of people that do airsoft and uh, do, uh, uh, you know, and it's something that, you know, there's always a, a a versa versatility with these type of thigh holsters that you can use them for both your your regular weapons and also for many of your uh, airsoft guns um, what's great about this is you guys know I got my range belt here uh, they, these uh, actually fit really good on these type of belts uh, like I tell you these are all nylon uh, based uh, type of uh, uh, products so it's always good uh, what I can tell you about this is that I really like the quality of the thigh holster. Um, it just doesn't feel cheap. You know, I, I've had some thigh holsters that you buy them, they're made in China. Uh, bought a Condor, as a matter of fact, and that thing pretty much broke down on me halfway through the deployment. I ended up having to buy another one. And it, it, really, it really sucks because, you know, I mean, you're having to spend a lot of money on these, uh, on these holsters. They're not cheap. So you always want to get your money's worth. Another, uh, another feature that I like about this is that they put a lot of these uh, elect, uh, elastic uh, strappings on the inside. You know, I had another one where it was on the, both the inside or the outside. And after a while, you know, you do a lot of, uh, you do a lot of uh, contact movement or whatever the case may be. You have these things sticking out, all these little rubber pieces out of there. And uh, it really annoys the crap out of you. So... Uh, I, I like the fact that they decided just to put them on the inside and also what's what I really like about this is that once you can adjust it you can actually tuck it and if you want to put like a little bit of tape like uh, what we use uh, in the military we call the 100 mile an hour tape put it on there so that way you don't have so much of this exposed and it doesn't uh, uh, you know it doesn't come out a lot of these rubber pieces just come out and it, it fucking pisses you off so um, I really like this holster guys, it's, it's very simple but yet it does the job. Uh, another fact that I like about it is that it comes in uh, different types of colors and obviously it's self adjustable to whatever, uh, to whether you're left handed or right handed. Uh, you can adjust the height, you can adjust the how you want to wear it, whether you want to wear one strap or you want to wear two straps, <clears throat> whether you want this closer to your belt loop or belt line. Um, and you know, I, I, I mean, that's, that's what we all like. We all like versatility in our products that we have because uh, how many of us really just hate uh, a product that just uh, doesn't give you the type of, uh, the type of uh, flexibility that you want on a lot of the things you want. So uh, I really like the, the fact that Spectre Gear did a really good job of designing this die holster uh, and, and making it versatile and, and functional at the same time. Uh, the MSRP on uh, on these uh, these holsters is ninety one twenty five, and um, obviously you're paying more depending. I mean, it, it is a it is a good holster, guys, and 
you know, I know it's 90 bucks, but you're really going to get your money's worth with this. You know, I've had this one. Like I tell you, I have my personal one. It's ACU color. And I use it all the time. And I've never had any issues with this one. So, uh, I want you guys just to give this uh, this company a shot. Give, give, it a, give it a shot. You might like a lot of their products. And you know what's really cool about it is that they're all made in the United States. Every one of these products is made in the United States. Uh, they're all done uh, in-house. And also keep in mind that the, uh, the folks at uh, Spectre Gear, they're all veterans. You know, they have a lot of, uh, it's a veteran-owned company. They hire a lot of veterans. So believe me, when you guys buy one of their products, you're definitely uh, saving an American job from going overseas. So always keep that in mind, guys. Hope you guys like my review of the Spectre Gear Standard Thigh Holster. And like always, God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And I'm out.